Hi there, my name is Godwin Mabin. I'm a fellow at Synopsys, primarily focused on addressing or working on low power technologies. As you all know, with the increase in power management complexity in chip design, the need for UPF has quadrupled over the years. Uh, to give a perspective, complexity of UPF has grown from few hundred lines, which I used to see 10 years back. Now we are seeing 100K lines, sometimes 500K, 1 million lines of power intent. What this means is your power complexity has quadrupled. Now, not every low power technologies need UPF, but if your technology needs UPF as power intent, uh, there is a need for a change in the verification methodology. Extremely complex low power architecture needs a robust low power verification methodology starting from linting all the way to final electric rule checks for sign off. First uh, change in verification methodology or overall methodology is to move away from manually generating UPF to automatically generating UPF from high level intent. Now for example, uh, UPF architect based solution uh, automatically generates UPF from a spreadsheet. This way we can contain the spec to one place rather than having mon multiple sources. Now once you have this sorted out, next step would be to validate the UPF for complete nets, uh, even at the initial stages so that power intent is fully functionally validated in the flow. The next step would be to take a closer look at functional simulation because there is a need for adding voltage as a key component for every logic state change and simulate accordingly to define or check presence and absence of voltage related function. Now, once we are done with that, each and every aspect of the design flow need to include UPF as part of their input collateral to make appropriate checks and validate the design for functional and electrical correctness. One thing I would stress on is identifying synthesis simulation mismatches is very critical and to identify the differences you need to have a robust LEC which is logical equivalence checking methodology to, be, uh, to identify the defects as early as possible and every change in the flow. If you want to understand more about low power verification, we invite you to take a closer look at the link provided in the webpage.